Hi friends, this is Evan. I'm in my new home office. We've moved in here about three or four weeks ago and it's been really fun um, to set up our home, set up the home office. I've had a few people say that uh, they've really enjoyed the video that I've um, been putting out in here and wanted to check out the setup of, yeah, the computer, the video, the office, all that. So I thought I'd um, quickly show you now what I have and I'll also talk through the gear that I have and where I got it from and how much it costs because um, it hasn't cost all that much really in comparison to what you could be paying uh, for a really good setup. So I think I'm probably about 90% uh, of the way in terms of the quality of the setup. It's not quite 100% but uh, I think how much I spent on it is uh, really worthwhile. So let me give you a quick tour of the office so far. Okay, so this is my desk. Well, actually, it's our desk. This uh, is where Joe and I both work. We are co-workers <laughs> in a professional capacity now, although for completely different organizations. Uh, so that's Joe's side there. And this is my side here. And uh, as you can see, we've been really blessed to have both um, a lot of natural light coming through. So two really big windows, which has been great. And it's had this inbuilt uh, desk, tons and tons of PowerPoints all along the side, uh, which we've been really lucky um, with having this already in here. So um, the, the desk, the power, and um, the, the inbuilt shelves as well have been really really cool now my other cool little thing uh, for me is it's also got um speaker cabling set up in here as well and also in the main living room um, so i've been able to just hook up my speakers into here and um that's been really fun as well so let me talk to you uh now and show you the setup that i have on my computer right now so as you can see i've got two monitors um these uh, monitors I've had for a little while they're actually really old I had two of these monitors here um, and I got them secondhand for about 30 bucks each 15 years ago oh uh, no sorry I lied probably about 12 years ago um, but yeah these are just a uh, I think this is 17 inch and then this one I got at a garage sale this is 24 inch and um, this was about 15 bucks from a garage sale. So uh, this one, because I do quite a bit of development work as well, I just thought um, I'd put this one to this one sideways and then in Windows, I'm able to set up and um, change the orientation to a portrait view or a vertical view really easily without affecting the left-hand monitor. So um, that's my two monitors. Now, I've got my desktop under here and uh, I got that last year for about $1,000. It's pretty beefed up, which is great for doing video work. But if you've got your laptop or you know an older computer, that's totally fine as well, uh, depending on what, what you're doing with your computer. Then we've got keyboard, mouse, of course. Now, uh, let me show you a little bit more on the AV side of things. Here is um, my microphone that I've used. I just use a Yeti Blue microphone which I bought last year during lockdown. I paid about 170 bucks for this from Officeworks and I think I did a price match. So yeah, like originally it was about 200 and I was able to price match and get it down to about 170. And I've been really, really happy with this microphone. It's not top of the line by any means, um, but it just connects by USB and uh, it's got some different modes on it and a uh, mute button, so just to hit a very quick mute if I need to, which is great. Uh, and that microphone has really improved the quality of my audio. Although this video I'm just recording on my uh, phone microphone. So it's um, this video probably won't be uh, the highest quality of audio, but it should be all right though. Next, uh, I've just got this really old webcam. So I've got two cameras here. This is a really old Microsoft Life Cam. I think I bought this for about 10 bucks a few years ago, which is fine. It's not uh great but it's fine particularly if you've got you know enough natural light like in here it's not too bad um so that's that 
Then uh, I've got my headphones. I got this uh, for a birthday present a few years ago. These are Audio Tech um, ATH M50X, uh, and they've got really good quality. And I think you can get these for around $150, $200. Uh, you can get the Bluetooth version, um, which means they can be wireless as well, or wired for about uh, $50 or $100 more. Then uh, the other thing that I want to show you was my main source that I'm using for my video at the moment. Uh, and you can actually see this here uh, on the screen because I've got the camera running at the moment and I've just got it going here through uh, OBS. So this is uh, the main camera that I use for meetings and when I'm shooting videos on here. Uh, so this is the Fujifilm X-A5, which is nowhere near top of the line, but I, I got it as a gift, a farewell gift from my last job. And uh, it cost probably about $550, $600 I got from DigiDirect. I put it on this a tripod here, which I bought for five dollars from an op shop, but you can get much better ones. You can also get um, cameras that can clip on, uh, sorry, clips that can then hold a, a camera on there, and then it sort of gets rid of these, you know, the stands because they do take up a bit of space and they're a bit unsightly, but they're okay. Now um, the camera here, it's it's really just a, a sort of mid range, like five hundred bucks. It's not too much really. Uh, mirrorless camera so it's fine it doesn't do like a native output as a webcam so I've had to do a couple of things to to wrangle it to make it a webcam in itself the good thing is it does have this micro USB out so I've got um, the micro camera um, sorry the, the HDMI cable out here which is actually an adapter to a proper HDMI cable now um, from here you can buy like an Elgato cam link um, which then can turn your HDMI and put that in as a USB that costs probably about 200 bucks or so but I bought the knockoff as you can see it's a little bit of a um, jungle down here but I bought um, this knockoff and it's worth showing you um, version which is called a video capture HDMI and I bought this off eBay for $13 instead of $200 and it does an incredible job of um, turning your HDMI output into uh, yeah it takes it then as a USB just into the computer there um, and then I've got this sort of HDMI port four ports um, then so I can plug in several things like the two webcams, the microphone, uh, some extra stuff. The other thing also to note down here, oh, you'll see this, this battery here, and this is a, a dummy battery, which I think I paid 15 bucks for or 20 bucks for, which means then that this camera uh, with this cable here is, um, it just runs off the USB and I'm not using a battery that needs to be recharged from the camera so it's a, it's a dummy one that then comes out of here and um, with this particular cable that's then being charged through um, USB so it's a pretty um, economic setup really um, if you've got a DSLR or a mirrorless, mirrorless camera lying around um, that is um, going to give you a much improved webcam experience as long as you've got either this HDMI output or um, if it's a camera that is supported as a webcam so particularly um, the more higher end Fujifilms or Sony um, and there are some, some other brands now which in the last year or so they've put out drivers to convert them directly to webcam so uh, it makes it pretty <laughs> um, pretty economic if you've got a, a camera lying around or you can buy a, a cheap one off Facebook Marketplace or um, Gumtree or somewhere like that for just a, a few hundred dollars if you're 
wanting to really improve the quality of your videos and your streaming from within your home office or wherever, wherever you're working from. Yeah? Cool. Um, so what else haven't I showed you? Oh yeah, this boy here. So this here uh, is a Wacom tablet. And um, what that does is it allows you to, to, um, to draw directly onto your computer. Now, if you've ever tried doing a drawing here with, with a mouse, uh, it's not very easy to do. So let me, let me pull up um, good old favorite, Let's call, call up uh, paint. Hopefully we all remember paint. So if I'm trying to draw something with my mouse onto paint, uh, let's go. So look, not, not very pretty at all. I'll undo that and I'll try and write a letter for you. I'll just try and write my name. E, okay, here we go. E, V, A, N, okay? So it's not very pretty when you're using mouse. However, with the Wacom tablet here, I can control um, both where the mouse is and then the click. So if I hover over it, it's moving my mouse. It's a bit hard to see here. It's moving my mouse. And then when I push down, I'm actually writing. So I can write, oops, my name. Uh, the reason it's not working very well is that <laughs> I've stretched it because I've got it set to um, portrait. So let me try again over here. I'll just undo those. Okay, and I'll make sure that we're set now just on the right screen. All right, so now I'm going to write my name again. My writing's not great, but as you can see, that second one is much better there. And then what this allows me to do is in my videos, I can annotate on the screen. I can draw different diagrams. Um, if you don't <laughs> mind my terrible drawing. Um, look, I could have even done that instead. So as you can see, yeah, we can do much, um, much better drawings. And because I'm holding the phone, I can't press the shift key to make these straight. But um, yeah, drawing becomes really, really easy, really nice to do um, with that. So let me fill in the gap there. Boom. These ones will bleed through the others. Yeah, so that didn't quite work. But um, you get the picture. So um, that is... Uh, the Wacom tablet. Now, the Wacom tablet, you can buy these new for, I don't know, 200, 250 from Officeworks. I got this secondhand in basically perfect condition off Gumtree for about 130 bucks. And it just means that when I'm uh, coaching, when I'm drawing up strategies in a meeting, I can, um, I can be drawing in real time and makes, um, yeah, makes for a really, really good presentation. Uh, as opposed to, you know, having a, a whiteboard behind you and trying to draw on that and on the webcam that comes across as uh, pretty low key. So uh, I can show you here with the OBS and because I've set it up in a particular way and I've got some hotkeys running, here's my OBS. Um, and I can switch over to, uh, which one? Four, three, two, one, what have I done? Am I in a different scene? I am too. Switching over to here. There we go. So um, I've got that screen there and uh, it's not perfect because uh, I've got it set up a different way, but I can be annotating and streaming that onto my camera. And Leslie, I think he's actually seen this. So Leslie's my assistant. She's just jumped in online um, and oh, she can't actually see it. But here, as you can see, I'm actually in Zoom and uh, close, zoom, put that over, over there. It's, what's going on? It's pulling in my right screen, of course. So put that over there. So here in zoom, I've actually got um, my camera and uh, my annotation happening at the same time. Let's change that to black and go back to uh, drawing. As you can see, cool, woo. But as you can see, that's actually coming through my webcam in Zoom. Uh, what I'll do is I'll give you a tutorial another day on how to set up the OBS so you can have much more flexibility and do really cool stuff uh, with your webcam. Whatever webcam you've got, you can be running through here and then um, adding those into your meetings. So hopefully that's uh, 
that's helpful for you. Um, so I've shown you my two cameras, I've shown you the Wacom tablet, uh, my monitors, my microphone. Having plenty of natural light uh, makes a big difference. Now, well, that's the other thing. If you don't have all uh, so much natural light, check this out. I got this um, a couple of weeks ago. It's called a Zoomy. Um, and there are lots of alternatives like this, but if you need like a quick fix for some natural light, this is a, a, a zoomy light and um, it's, it's a white box sort of light. Can't do this with two hands. Let's pull out that. Um, so you plug it in uh, USB and it's got a clip to attach to the top of your laptop. It's probably a bit too thick to attach to the monitor here. Um, but on your laptop, which is much thinner, uh, you can attach a little light like that and um, and it gives you sort of a few levels by clicking that from sort of low light to much brighter. And it really improves the quality of your webcam, particularly if you're shooting in a darker room or at night time. So if I was in here in this room, even with my lights on, uh, having this white light on uh, is great for just picking up um, my face and, and the quality for other people. And um, while I'm here, I might as well just show you this sort of uh, stand. You can get these sort of claw stands, uh, Gorilla Pod, Gorilla Stands. Um, they normally cost about $70 or so, and you can get an attachment to hook your phone up on there or, or other th things if you take that phone attachment off. Or... Um, I think I got this one off eBay as a knockoff, not the um, the official uh, Gorilla Pod ones, but I got this for about fifteen dollars or so too. Oh, there's my chunky old printer, which I got for five dollars from a sale somewhere. As you can tell, I like to do things fairly thriftily. <laughs> um, so I think that's pretty much everything. Uh, my camera, my lights, my audio, um, that. And then I've also got the sit-stand desk, which um, is helpful because I don't have a great back. These are about $200, $250 from Officeworks. I got this secondhand a few years ago now um, from Gumtree for about $90. Uh, and so you can raise these up and down, and there are newer ones that are even better than that. So you just, just push those um, to... to adjust it up and down. Behind me, I've just got some cupboards, again, more shelving in here. So I've got a fairly white background at the moment, but then I can do quite a lot with it because there's enough light. You can sort of use it as a bit of a green screen with a zoom filter or a zoom background. And um, that's it. So let me turn around. So that's it. I hope you um, have enjoyed this little tour of my office, of my computer and the way that I've got things set up. I'll definitely shoot another video for you uh, to show you how I use the OBS Studio, uh, which is a free program to enhance the way that I do videos, both shooting um, pre-records and also using live as an, an enhanced webcam. Um, Sorry, you got my evaporative cooler there, which I haven't used because it's winter. <laughs> and um, yeah, I hope uh, that's really useful for you. Feel free to ask me any more questions about my setup. If you've got any ideas on how I can improve the way that I'm, I'm doing things, and um, then yeah, please let me know. Thanks for your time, and I'll speak to you again soon.